and here to discuss what we can look forward to are two of the very best football journalists, Neil Ashton from the Daily Mail and John Cross from the Daily Mirror. Good to have you on the programme tonight, guys. Um, yeah, very well, thank you. So, Neil, all eyes on the new Manchester United manager, David Moyes. Yeah. He's got big boots to fill, hasn't he? Yeah, he certainly has. And, and uh, we actually saw him yesterday at the launch of the Barclays Premier League and he was sort of previewing his first game and, and what it will mean to him to, to take charge of Manchester United at Swansea City in the Liberty Stadium. After everything that, that Ferguson has achieved, and that was 13 Premier League titles, a couple of Champions League wins as well in there. Incredible, most successful British manager in history. And David Moyes is the man who's got to em try to emulate those achievements. And he knows how difficult it will be, but he's been left. Let's not forget he's been left with the Barclays Premier League champions. So he's off to a good start with that. He's already got a good side. What do you think, John? Well, I think Jose Mourinho is going to be so spectacular, I think, for, for the Premier League, isn't he? To, to see the special one back, I think it's a fantastic, absolutely fantastic new edge for Chelsea to see him almost return home, if you like. I think that'll be uh, really exciting. Can Manuel he be Pellegrin. successful again, do you think, after two league titles at Stamford Bridge? Well, I think, I think everything will be judged by his first reign in charge. And you look at the Chelsea squad, they fell so short, I think, really, last season, despite winning the Europa League domestically. They weren't in, in the race. Um, Manchester United to win by 11 points. And yet it's funny, isn't it? We're still talking about Chelsea or Manchester City being the favourites um, for the title, almost forgetting Manchester United, which is a, a strange thing to do. Uh, not all about the, uh, the managers, I should say, Neil, because you've got lots of speculation regarding the player that's kept you busy a bit, hasn't it, yeah, this it summer? Has, like, and what about Wayne Rooney? Do you think he's going to leave Manchester United? What's your hunch? Well, it's difficult for him now because he's in the squad to, to play against Swansea tomorrow night. And uh, he'd be on the, probably, like, most likely be on the substitutes bench, having travelled with Manchester United this evening. United have made it clear they don't want to sell him. This is a player... Who's, who's operated at the very, very highest level for Manchester United for nine years. He's won five Premier League titles while he's been there, hugely successful. He's incredibly important to the national team. That's not so, so important to Manchester United. He played for England in the week against Scotland, got about 60 minutes on the field. But what he can do for Manchester United and what he could potentially do for a title rival if they sold him to Chelsea, which is the only destination, that's where he wants to play his mm -hmm. football. He could do some damage playing for Chelsea, now which we, is why they won't sell him. OK, we asked Chelsea manager Jose Mourinho about his interest in Wayne Rooney. Let's mm. have a quick listen to what he had to say. Till the last day when the market is, is open, we all are waiting for something to, to happen. Uh, even when we say we are very happy with our squad, we lie because we want always to, to make it better. So we'll see what happens. No. So pretty vague there, John. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's clear, isn't it, that he wants Wayne Rooney. Uh, Is it? I think, I think so. I, I, I think so. I think he's trying to be a little bit tricky there and to sort of hide his interest um, sort of to, to a degree. I think Chelsea need one, one more striker, if I'm honest, to really lead the line, to make them um, potential champions. And I think I, Rooney would be their, their first choice, in my view. Having said that, what a gamble it would be for Manchester United to sell to one of their direct rivals. Even if Rooney were to pop up with one goal for Chelsea, which, which okay. earned them an extra point, and it could decide the title. That's the, that's the gamble right. they can't I'm take. I'm going to put you both on the spot now, and I'm going to ask you who you think is going to win the Premier League and who else is going to be in the top four. Yeah. Let's go with you Well, I, I actually think that Chelsea will go and win it, despite I know that, that John just said they need a striker. They certainly need that man, Rooney. Um, Manchester City second, United third. And uh, this, this year, I, I believe Tottenham, with their spending over the summer, that they will just pip Arsenal for fourth place. Okay, well, remember that. I've okay. written it down. John, what do you think? <laughs> I fancy think? Manchester City for the title. I think they've got the, the, the best squad. I think the manager, Pellegrini, has much to prove, but I do, I do think they'll win it. And the others? Um, Chelsea second, um, and I think Manchester United third, um, like Neil, Tottenham fourth, because I think they've done some great business. Okay. It's going to be a good season for you both, isn't it? Yeah, good looking forward to it. Yeah, I bet, you are. Yeah. I bet, you, I bet you've missed well. it, haven't you? Yeah, I bet really your wives, not. haven't they? Right. <laughs> See you later.